I'm here with Aaron Wiggins and Keith Gatlin. Keith Gatlin, of course, played for Maryland in the 1980s. And in, if you didn't know, he coached Aaron Wiggins in high school. We found some footage uh, from when Keith actually played Mark Turgeon uh, while he was playing uh, for Kansas. Uh, Keith, this was a tournament in Alaska you guys were in, right? Yes, the uh, Great Alaska Shootout, yes. What was that experience like? I remember you telling me that it was just kind of uh, like dark the entire time. You guys couldn't do much. Yeah, it was dark. It's like, I think it was like 20 hours of darkness at that time in uh, Thanksgiving. And it was extremely cold. That's all we remember. It was extremely cold. So Aaron, have you ever seen either of them play? Uh, I've seen a couple of clips of Coach Gatlin play a couple of times. Oh, I've never seen Turgeon play. He's but... seen me play up close and personal. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him. Yeah, I've seen him play a couple of times. <laughs> For sure. Great Alaska shootout live from Anchorage, Alaska. It's the Maryland Terrapins beating the Kansas Jayhawks. Fourth position, number three, six foot five sophomore from Brian. Six foot five. Carolina. <laughs> These were uh, interesting warm-ups. Very interesting, yes. Number 11, a guard, 5'10", sophomore from Topeka, Kansas, Mark Turgeon. That's crazy. Coach Turgeon looks just like Will. That's not exactly <laughs> my first reaction. That's actually crazy. 6'5", senior from Martinsville, Virginia, Jeff Atkins. What was your kind of favorite part about this team? Uh, you had Len Bias and a lot of good guys on it. Yeah, we had some really good players. And we were uh, very excited because um, we just came off of winning the uh, ACC championship my freshman year. So we were really excited. The University of Maryland is coached by Lefty Drazel. The University of Kansas is coached by Larry Brown. 17:49 remaining here in the first half, and we're tied at five. Kansas in mm -hmm. <laughs> with the ball on the count of the surgeon in Lawrence, and the second foul on Terry Long. Lay it out to the baseline. Turgeon he got a little knockdown jumper. <laughs> the height difference here is great. I was going to say <laughs> Keith could probably guard him with his length and stuff. Yep. Probably made it hard for him. Straight to the post. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, Turgeon was fast. Yes, he was. Line. Bias. Down. I mean, what was it like just getting to be a teammate with Len Bias? Oh, it was, it was awesome. I mean, obviously, Lenny was a very special player. Um, I had an awesome career at Maryland. It was it was really uh, an awesome experience. Why not? Kansas moving the ball very nicely and playing very good defense, as a matter of fact. With a five point it kind of throws me off not having a three-point line. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was totally different. Terry Long coming back into the ballgame And also no shot clock, right? At that time, it was not a shot clock. You're right, yes. So I was going through, and just the possessions were so long with no shot clock when I was clicking all of this. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. If you got behind, back in those days, teams has held the hold. <laughs> yep, yep. In order to get it over those guys, you may have to throw it over the backboard. <laughs> How would you kind of describe your playing style in college? Points, uh, back then, point guard had to just run the show and, and get everybody the ball. It's totally different now where the point guard gets to shoot a lot. But back then, it was just – you got to set the guys up, and if it came back out to you, you get to pick and choose when you could shoot the ball. I'm going to go back to – I think that was my favorite play for the game for him. Just kind of get your guys' reactions on that. Adrian Branch. Now 
with seven points. And keep in mind, he has two fouls on it. 11.30 remaining in the first half. Two-point ball game, Kansas holding on to the lead. Thompson trying to penetrate, lays it off to Dryling. Manning, they reverse it, and detergent. Dryling, there he's got the position. Very nice pass. Very nice pass. Very nice pass. A lot of people didn't remember Greg Jalen was like seven feet one. He was a big man. Mm. Jerry Long to do it six eight against the seven one dry lick. Well, they swung the ball again from one side of the court to the other and dry made the pass. You think it was and easier going against, against someone like him who was five ten, or would you rather so kind of go yeah, against someone a little bit circle. taller? Like they go that jump. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it, it didn't. Uh, yeah, anyway. It didn't bother me. It didn't bother me because uh, Muggy Bogues was five three and stuff, so. It, it, it was fine. I'll go back so you can see that. Um, Two point ball game, Kansas mm-hmm. holding on to the lead. Thompson, yeah, I remember you used to tell me, Coach, you get your teammates open, and whenever it come right back to you, you'd be ready to shoot that thing. <laughs> ready to shoot it. That's that's how we had to play back then. <laughs> that thing knocked down. I see it at the top of the key right here. Yes, indeed. They really do a nice job of moving the basketball. Let's go. Top of the circle. Yeah, that was a nice one. Does this bring back any memories at all, Keith, of this game? Uh, it does because uh, Danny Manley and I talk about it a lot because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we lost in overtime. Yeah. You don't. Know, you hit another one right there. Come on, Wig. You know what's up, man. I know what's up. I ain't <laughs> never seen it like this though. Hey, got a little jumping to you. <laughs> what video had he shown you of like you playing before? Was it at Maryland or just kind of you seeing him play and stuff? It was. His. I mean, his favorite one was against Carolina, where he had to play off the back of the of. Uh, Kenny Smith, yes. Off Kenny yes. Smith back, and you know he had the game winner. So I seen I had saw that a couple times, but then uh, before I even went to you know be coached by him, I had you know looked up a couple of his highlights and stuff. So I just saw some of his his highlights from when he played in college. I think back in this clip, Trojan kind of got the best of you uh, on this one. He tried to pick him up full court one time. Absolutely. He turns it as the thing you have to do first. Now you look at the basket. If it's there, take it. And he is. You got to turn to this. Oh, that's the five second call? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's totally different back then, man. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you, they, don't, they don't make that call like now. Totally different. I mean, Turgeon was short, but he definitely kind of had a, a scrappy little edge to him with that, especially on defense. Yeah, he, he, um, he had to play that way because, you know, with his size, he had to affect the game in, in, a, in a different way than a bigger guard. So uh, he did a really good job of doing that. Simply didn't see the pass. Gatlin going against Turgeon over to Adrian. Nice pass. Let's talk to John this angle. Uh, Mark he back. looks just like Will. It's incredible. <laughs> like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> if that would have gone in, like, that's just, that's, that pass is so nice. Yeah. They have the same starter for both teams. Turgeon, check Were we up at the half? Were we up at the half? Yeah, 38 to 30. Oh, man. For Turgeon, the turnaround by Len Bias on the baseline, not there. Jones inside, can't buy it. Bias again with the right hand, and he puts it in. Mm. Just how athletic was he on the court? He was very athletic. I mean, that's what a lot of people really liked about Lenny. He was such a quick jumper. He could get from point A to point B extremely quick. Okay. Right in the post. <laughs> he goes to the post with it. Well, you and know what's up, man. And one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brandon Boyle are coming out. They bring in Thompson. That's right. With the Kansas offense. Look at the way they line up on the free throw line. It's so crazy how Thomas changes yeah, everything. Why is there, everything. like, three, like three, three guys on the All five of them are on the line for All Kansas. All five on the line. It's totally different, yeah. Great play by I mean, oh yeah, you got hot. Steal right after. Yeah, I was gonna say he started. He started getting into a little groove. Two nineteen remaining in the game. This ending, uh, when I was watching, it's just kind of a crazy ending to this game. Crazy. I put in the whole thing. If I'm not mistaken, Kelvin Thompson hit a shot. He's in Alaska? Yes. The in great Anchorage, Alaska, Alaska shootout. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, you said 20 hours of darkness, man. That sounds crazy. Yeah, in the wintertime, but then in the summertime, and it, it's 20 hours of light. Yeah. I mean, you guys went everywhere that season. You went to Hawaii, you went to uh, Alaska. Yeah, we was everywhere. We're tied at 56. Got one against Hunter. Bias. Danny Manning waiting. And Gatlin again against Hunter. Again, the double stack offense that Dave Harshman is referred to. A minute 22. You know, holding it a little bit. Yep. I know with no shot clock, it's like sessions are yeah. so long. Maryland. Gatlin with it. Very long. Down to a minute eight, a minute seven. I mean, yeah, because you guys Nine almost you guys almost knocked off like a minute there. Yes. What was Lefty like as a coach in, in these moments? Oh, he was great to play for. Lefty was definitely a player's coach. He, uh, he was funny to be around. Uh, we had a lot of fun with Coach. So, they were proud of the four seconds to call the timeout, right? Right. Okay. The one thing maybe we'll point out, and most college fans know this, but there's a big difference between college and pro basketball because in college you can throw the ball in the backcourt from half court in the, if it's taken out in, in the uh, in the pros, you must show the ball, throw the ball in the front court. It makes it much more difficult. Uh-oh. Loose ball came. Uh oh who turned the ball over they can go back and look they get, they get that type of shot and they're going to take it in the one thing maybe we'll point out and most college fans know this but half court in the it was taken out in, in the uh in the front court must show the ball throw the ball in the front court it makes it much more difficult Uh -oh. Loose ball, Kansas has it. Uh, was it 40? Yeah, Tom Jones, yeah. Yep. Tom yep. Jones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Danny Manning. He, he out there? Yeah, this is his freshman year. I forgot game. he played. I forgot he played with, with Turgeon at Kansas. It's his first game of his college career. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, he was good. Like, I hadn't seen much of his college film before. Yeah, he's very good. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. He knocked that one down. Yes, he did. That's crazy. Do you remember kind of the craziness to the end of this game? I don't. I don't. I don't know how, how it ended, actually. I mean, that's just crazy. Like when you're kind of coaching later on, just how different was it to you? Just like going the pace of the game changing so much. Uh, it's totally different. <laughs> And it definitely, you know, makes a difference late in games like this. Absolutely. Because you're going from what could be like eight possessions to basically two. 
Yep. Yep. And then call another one. So they've got at least two to three seconds and maybe two. At least two, maybe three. Personally, a lot of times when the after the ball the, the score is made, depending on how much time you have, it, it's almost better to get the ball in and get a shot up real quick before the defense has a chance to set up. Yeah. I would imagine that it's going to take time alone just to get it across the timeline. Well, that's why I want to throw the, the ball at least to midcourt, if not farther down the floor. Three seconds to work with. Atkins. And the clock is ticked, but one second. That was you who threw that? Yes, the- you know that. <laughs> you got a little arm when you like that? Yeah. <laughs> a little football pass. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny we're doing this the night after a very close game also coming down to the wire right. yes now to see some type of a back pick to loosen somebody up going to the basket maybe throw a lob if not the person who would back pick step out go to him for the shot now branch has three point what i would call three point range in the nba which is 23 feet nine inches and he's a guy that could can shoot the ball from there but getting getting back now here's left here's left let's see if we can hear him I didn't understand that comment when I was listening. <laughs> After a deep jumper put in by Calvin Thompson, the junior for Kansas. Keith Gather will inbounds for Maryland. He's got Atkins to turn around. Deep jumper. No. Oh, I thought it was about to drop. I ain't know what was in. That's crazy. That's crazy. I had no idea y'all played each other back in back in college, man. Yep, yep. That was Danny Manning's first uh reg, reg, uh, regular season game. Yep. That's crazy. And this is the only game you played against Turgeon from what I, from what I saw. Yes, it was. It was. Yes. Mm-hmm. You did you? Uh, it was a good one. <laughs> what's your reaction to seeing him play, Aaron? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not surprised by Coach Gatlin. You know, I've, I've watched him, you know, play, and he got that same jumper even today. So, you know, I, I wasn't surprised to see that. But I had never seen Coach Turgeon play, and I knew that, he, you know, he had to be somewhat of a scrappy guard and, and uh, you know, be determined as he was. But that was, that was fun to watch. That was funny. I mean, yeah, because I know now he's a really defensive-minded uh, guy too, and you can kind of see right. that uh, in, a, in his college game as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it, Aaron, getting to kind of see a little bit of that old film. Oh, yeah. No, that was super fun. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.